Soap.com. All right. Um, I have something equally questionable. Yes. Um, so we all know the robots are going to be taking over the world. We saw the video this week from Boston Dynamics where they're they're knocking over the the uh, the robots with the with the hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> in a very, very disturbing, disturbing situation. Um, but uh, how about how about artificial intelligence that's going to help you schedule? You guys know in the last few weeks, and I know some of you have been on some of the meetings that I've been trying to plan with uh, Vite.in, V-Y-T-E dot I-N. Uh, and I talked about a little more uh, over on Basic Sorgonomics over Sorgatron.com. But this one is um, X.ai. Uh, they were talking about this on, I think, Mac Break last week, uh, or, or maybe this week in Google. Uh, so, so basically, it is a a personal assistant, and uh, it, 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 you're on a waiting list right now. It's, it's very beta at the moment, and they actually have a few scenarios. Like, um, you basically, you know, somebody will say, "Hey, do you want to go meet for coffee on about this thing?" And uh, you you respond and. <laughs> Basically, the uh, Shore, Shore, who, you know, Mary, who, who invited you to coffee, and Amy, who is the name of your assistant, you CC Amy, which is Amy at x.ai, uh, find 30 minutes for coffee at my office. Cheers. Um, and it goes through and constructs emails and does the whole back and forth for you on is this good for you no is this good no is this good you know as you get to when you're planning meetings as you guys know um and then in the end you you get it scheduled now i think there's a little bit of getting into your schedule and kind of figuring out the no fly zones and everything but and and locations and and, and things like that but um it if it works it'd be amazing right we're all trying to solve this kind of scheduling problem right and uh, and but I love that it's still just using email like you guys, you know, you've seen the Vite.in that I use like it's its own interface. Right. Like that's how they, mm -hmm. that's how they're trying to solve this problem. But the, but again, you know, the issue is now I'm sending people these things that look like something completely different. They have to click through, end up on this other website and have to I can tell that there's a little bit of a learning curve when people are popping in there and doing things. Um and I'm trying to kind of work on it and make it as clear as possible because on that one, you select what dates are good for you. It's just like, boom, here's dates. Boom, here's locations. Boom, you can add a, add a thing. How many people, it shows you the dots for everybody that says this date is okay. And you can say, okay, most of the people can make this one. Let's do it, right? Um, this just looks like it's just one-on-one, -on -one, for instance. So that might be a little bit easier. Uh, but uh, but again, just kind of staying in a a... Uh, conversational email situation, you know, much like Siri is supposed to be doing, right? So I don't know. What do you think, Chella? I think it, I think it's a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. um, the implementation is looks interesting. Um, I'd like to see how it works cross platform, and do people find it too cumbersome versus? You know, give me a few times. I don't know. The concept sounds really, really cool. Like, I, I feel like you're still going to get, like, kind of the same problem where I just have these emails back and forth. And did somebody just lose my email tree? Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because that's the problem I've been running into as I'm scheduling things is, like, okay, that doesn't work. Does this work? And then you don't get another email. Right? You're still dependent on that other person responding to emails. And, 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 and I don't know if it's going to, like, just continue to kind of poke you for this thing. Uh, what do you think, Katie? I, it's. I'm just curious of when things are just going to kind of start bouncing off each other. Like you're gonna have too many schedule planners where it's like, oh wait a minute, it looks like you have this time free, but then you already have something else planning, like holding that space. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because it's it's right. when you're like Vite and things, it's it's this might be an opportunity here, and this might be an opportunity here that you're leaving open to, after you get all the responses, and then meanwhile this is like, oh wait, these are both open, and then suddenly right. everything's double booked. Right. Well, Does that make sense? The, the other the other thing that I do, and I don't know what you guys are like, but there's times where my schedule gets so hectic that I actually have to put meetings on my calendar, but then I plan out an action item. So like today I, I had a, I had four things that I had to do and each thing would have taken about seven to 10 minutes. So I actually 
took a half an hour on my calendar tomorrow and put in the agenda those four things and I booked – it's just a meeting with myself, right? Mm -hmm. But it guarantees that I've carved that amount of time out of my day. Now, if my boss looked at my calendar and he can't see what any of the things are, it just sees that I'm blocked, right? He may want to have a conversation with me about something that I would actually put above those four things that I want to get done. If he doesn't reach out to me and say, hey, and he just looks at the next available time slot, maybe it's two days from now. So I think there's a certain human interaction that needs to take place with a lot of that. So if you try to right. wrap too much AI around it, like Sorg, imagine if someone came, if someone just used this and said, "Hey, I want to meet to talk about something," and they didn't tell you there was a video, there was a deadline for this weekend, but it paid a million dollars for for twenty minutes of your time. I know it's an exaggerated <laughs> example. Please but, contact me, vite.in <laughs> slash Sorgatron. Uh, I believe it is. <laughs> but but you know what I mean. So if you if you don't give additional opportunity and you try to automate a lot of this, I, I, right, I, I right, worry that certain opportunities by a lot are going to be missed. I think anything like this, you need to audit a little bit. Um, so I've, I actually do do that. Like I, I tried, you know, I, I didn't work last week because you know, a, 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 an assignment came up and I really couldn't pass it up, uh, last week. But like, for instance, I block out Wednesday mornings on a weekly basis and it just says work and it's work on the podcast stuff. Cause all that, all the extra stuff about after awesome cast and wrestling mayhem show, I need a block to, just get just push through that stuff and get it out and then it's done right um or if i'm looking at a day and i'm saying okay well what needs to get done okay i need to work on this project let's let's just carve out roughly like two hours over here to make sure i'm working on this client's work here and working on this client's work here and i need to get to this wrestling show at it right um no i completely do that absolutely do that especially after those few weeks when i was like it seemed like i was meeting with everybody and running around and not actually getting work done um mm -hmm. like you need to you definitely need to especially if you don't get especially if you can't invoice anybody until you actually do the work <laughs> it's it, it gets to be an issue um but no no i think i think i think that's a that's a good hack around that um that also helps you know again if you do have something like the light where somebody can actually go and suggest a meeting you know again stuff is already blocked out sometimes i actually block out days and say you will take this day off you know, mm -hmm. or, or yeah. hey, this is because especially something like like a Memorial Day or something like, hey, it's Memorial Day. Don't plan anything. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've done that with holidays, like I national have to. holidays, because I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get X, Y and Z done. And I'm like, well, oh, wait, no one else is doing well, when you when you when you don't have a day job that says, hey, see you Tuesday. You just you just wake up and do what you do every day. Right. And and and, and the days kind of all blend together a little bit. Um, so. Uh, you know, yeah, I think I think these are the, exactly the kind of hacks. Now, if 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 Amy over here at X dot AI um, can 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 work this, I hope you can give it different names. I don't think you can right off the bat, but uh, right now there's a waiting list, so no, we haven't had our hands on it just yet. Um, so if you go over there, um, sign up for the beta list. It puts you on a list. Um, I actually shared, I believe, I, I shared a link out on my Facebook. I put it in Slack actually, and I and I tweeted it as well. Um, and if you click on that, I believe that bumps me up in line, and I think you get bumped up with me Whoa. in in that group the, uh, in line for this. So, uh, so, so if you're interested in that, go over to twittercom sorgatron click on the link, and join me. Everybody, join me over there. I'll, I'll, I'll try to throw the link in the uh, chat room as well. So, um, all right, and uh, that is our awesome things of the week. Uh, so, hey, want to give a shout out to our good friends at uh, Slice on Broadway, who I had a nice chat today with. Uh, um, I, I, I got to be the training call for one of the newbies down there. Um, so I called today and they were like, oh, we were just talking about you. I'm like, oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> um, but no, great guys. They've been supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza for uh, almost two years now. Um, kicking it over here so uh, everybody comes in the studio. Actually, we got some more people coming in for uh, kind of an impromptu show after this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and again, everybody gets fed. It's dinner time, you know, it, and we'd like to get people in the studio 
in the studio, but sometimes Chilla's got to just hang out in Chilla Towers over there in Dormont. <laughs> but uh, that's okay, too. That's okay, too. Uh, so go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Um, say hi to the guys. Let them know that the awesome cast and Sorgatron Media uh, sent, sent you. And, of course, uh, uh, check out some good stuff over there. And they're also on Main Street there in Carnegie, PA. Uh, so please go check all that stuff. Rico and the guys um, all, all being awesome awesome stuff over there it's a pittsburgh original and hey beach view is moving on up stop for a coffee stop for there's some there's there's some other interesting things apparently coming in as well so dun 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 dun, dun, dun.